Hi guys, my name's Doug. I'm a member of the technical service group here at Task Force Tips. And in this service video, I'm gonna show you how to update or change the oscillating mechanism on an oscillating blitz fire from this uh, older style to the current uh, assembly. Um, should this become damaged or quit operating in some manner, we no longer produce uh, service parts for this mechanism. So that would require the complete replacement of the mechanism itself. Um, the blue casting and all that would still remain. Um, so on the next slide, we're gonna show you uh, the few parts and pieces you need to complete this service. So gather those up, we'll meet back at the workbench. All right, welcome back to the workbench. We'll tear into this. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this big mechanism out of our way. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to take these two screws out right here. All right. To do that, we'll need a 3 16 Allen wrench. Those do have red Loctite in them, so at first they will take a little bit of force to break. Once you remove those, you can set those aside. None of the parts we're taking off are gonna get reused in the reinstallation in the new kit. So you can set those aside or dispose of them. Now, having done that, if it doesn't just fall out on its own, you can just go ahead and pull it off the, uh, the oscillation shaft there, which will remain in place. And again, set that aside. Next, rotate it on its axis, the opposite direction. We're gonna take these cover screws out using an eighth inch Allen wrench. We are going to use those screws, so I guess I told a little fib earlier, we are going to reuse a couple parts. Three of those retain that plate. There are no seals or anything on this plate that you have to worry about losing, so just set the screws and the lid aside. Okay, so next, in order to get this oscillation wheel and shaft off, we're gonna remove this screw on the bottom here. Using the 3 16 Allen wrench again, that's red Loctite, so again, it'll take a little bit of force, but the gear will have this all locked up so you don't have to put any uh, opposite force on the other side in order to hold things in position. Now the wheel we're taking off much like the new wheel has two pins pressed in that engage in this. Um, you may have to pry that off if it just doesn't pull out. Using a straight edge screwdriver, you can carefully between that wheel and the casting, just slowly pry up on that opposite sides a little bit at a time as not to cause it to jam up. That'll take that out and you can set that aside. I'm turning it back on its axis again so we have access to the mounting hole down here. Take the new oscillation wheel, lining up the two pressed in pins with the holes here. You'll be able to see them on the opposite side as you're installing it. You can see those two uh, pin holes there in the center hole being the screw hole. Go ahead and insert the wheel in there, just like that. Taking the new mounting screw and the 3 16 Allen wrench, apply red Loctite to the threads. And then thread that in. As you tighten that screw up, that'll pull that oscillation wheel completely down against this bronze gear and seat it. Okay. Once that's in and we're on this side of the unit, we'll go ahead and we'll put the cover plate back on. Go ahead and put just a little bit of blue Loctite in each hole. And using the eighth inch Allen wrench, we'll get some screws started here. And since this since this lid is slotted, you can get one started and just slide it over to help hold it while you get this one snugged up a little bit. 
Go ahead and leave that just a little bit loose until you get the other two lined up and installed. Once you get those three screws in and all snugged up, go ahead and rotate the monitor again. All the rest of the work is going to take place top side on the unit. Now, next thing we want to do is this is the this is how the rod, this is the, the mechanism that the rod will attach to in order to engage it with this wheel. And there is a plastic insert, a ball that goes in there that allows that to swivel a little bit. If it's not already installed, taking the ball with the flats, align it with the, the flats in the, uh, in the device here, just push it in and give it a turn to allow that hole to line up. Okay, we're going to put the, the plastic ball side down through that hole. And taking this screw and washer, put a little bit of red Loctite on that screw thread. And then using the eighth inch Allen wrench down through the center, put it into the shaft on the oscillation wheel and snug that up. That should still rotate freely after you've tightened that up. Next thing we want to do is go ahead and put the spring tube on here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to thread that in. Don't thread it all the way in. Get it, get it to where the, the threaded shaft just starts to meet the other side of this, this unit. So you want to put it about right there. We're going to stop there. We're going to put some red Loctite here. We're going to put some here. That will get the, because both sides of this mechanism are threaded, that'll get the Loctite into those threaded joints. Next, using a 7 16 combination wrench, you see there's a couple flats on the shaft here. Just use that wrench, just snug that up a little bit to make it tight. Now, the two mounting holes here, make sure we got a clean surface before putting any new parts on there. We have two mounting holes here, that's for the rear portion of the, the mechanism or the part that's used to uh, set the degrees of oscillation. First thing we want to do is disengage the pin. That's engaged. Disengage it, turn it 90 degrees just to keep that pin held back. We want to slide the mechanism on so that that pin is aligned with this groove. Okay. Then taking the mounting bracket, align it on the rear ball swivel here, just like that. Should sit right in place. The kit will come with two new mounting screws. They're different than the ones that were removed. Put some red Loctite on the screw itself. And just go ahead and get those started a little bit. The right size wrench is a quarter inch. Go ahead and snug those up. Hand tight with the T-handle wrench is perfectly fine. That has the unit mounted here. With the pin disengaged, you want to make sure that that moves freely. Pick up the block. This is how you change the degrees of oscillation, 20, 30, and 40. Make sure that moves freely. And then lastly, go ahead and engage the pin, turn it 90 or 180 degrees. And as you move that, it should fall into that lock location. Uh, to ensure the oscillation works properly under flow, go ahead and take this out, hook it up, flow it. The oscillator of the blitz fires does require a minimum of 175 gallons per minute of flow in order to oscillate, so make sure you're doing at least that when you're running the test. That completes the installation of the uh, oscillation mechanism. If after having reviewed this service video, you find you have additional questions or concerns, certainly feel free to reach out to us. You can find all of our contact information at TFT.com, or you can also reach us at 800 
3482686 and ask for the technical service group.